Welcome back to another video. This is type DB forces, code forces contest problem that is exponential equation. Uh, let's quickly see what the problem states. So the problem states that uh, you'll be given an integer n and you, our task is to find two integers x and y such that it lies between one and the integer n. So between one and n you have to find two numbers and that two numbers should satisfy the equation x power y into y plus y power x into x equal to n. They also told that in the constraints, if you notice, the n value can go till 10 power 9. 10 power 9 is so huge. And if you want to try all the possibilities, it will be very big, right? If you do the brute force approach or any recursive approach or anything. So what do we do? We do trial and error first. So we have the first number as 1, right? Let's assume that uh, x value as 1. For time being, let's assume that. Now, if we apply this equation, we do 1 power y into y plus y power 1 into x sorry uh, this is 1 right 1 equal to n now if you solve it you get 2y equal to n and even if I assume y equal to 1 if you apply the same equation here you get 2x equal to n so what did we get here if we multiply any number an odd or an even number n will always be even so if the user gives for user giving n as an even number we take the values uh, x equal to 1 means y equal to n by 2 and then if y equal to 1 means we simply put x equal to n by 2 for example let's take an even number say 42 now if we consider this is what the user gives if we consider x equal to 1 what is the value of y value of y will be from here right x y equal to n by 2 that is 42 by 2 so that is 21 now how did we get 21 we got this from the equation so for every even number we already got the solution of x is 1 and uh, y as some number that is n by 2 now uh, we got x as even number we got the value of uh, sorry if n is an even number we got the values of x and y now we have to see what is the case if n is an odd number suppose let's say user is giving something like 23 is it possible to find out the value of x and y the in question they are also telling that if you are not able to find two numbers x and y within the given interval 1 and n you can simply print minus 1 so we found the solution for n as an even number. Now we have to find the value for n as odd number. So for that, let's take all the conditions now. So what did they give initially? x into y into y plus y uh, per x into x equal to n, right? Now, how many possibilities are there? Let's try all possibilities. Even, even, x can be even, y can be even, x can be odd, y can be odd, and x can be even and y can be odd, and x can be odd and y can be even. Now, Let's substitute each of them here. That is even power even into even plus even power even into even equal to n. So what is this? Even power even is even, 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 even plus even. Everything is even here. For even, we already have a solution that is uh, n by 2, right? y by 2 or x by 2 based on what you substitute. Now, if we take this one, odd power odd into odd plus odd power odd into odd equal to n. So what do you get here? odd power odd is odd, odd into odd is odd, n odd plus odd equal to n, 2 odd or everything. Here also uh, you are getting an even number, n is even number. Now let's take this one. What, what do we get here? Even uh, per odd into odd plus odd per even into even equal to n. Now what is even per odd? Let's say 2 per 3 or something. So this is an even number, right? Even what is even into a 2 into 3 or 2 into something so it will be an even number plus what is odd per even let's say 3 power something that is an odd number odd into even again will be an even number so again we got only even so you notice one thing this also even this also even this also even so they are telling that n is always an even number let's see for the last approach we don't have to try it because uh, since x equal to even and y equal to odd when x equal to odd and y equal to even will also be an even number because you see right this is actually like a symmetry whatever is there on the left is same in the right so this also is an even number so for even number we already got the solution so if this one is an even number if we substitute x as 1 we got y value as n by 2 and substitute if y equal to 1 x value will be n by 2 
so now we can very well say that whatever be it if x is even or x is odd there does not exist any solution where n is odd n is odd is not possible we cannot find two integers x and y when n is odd so in for all n is odd if n mod 2 equal to equal to 0 you simply print minus 1 that's all and uh, if uh, it is an even number what do you do if it's an even number uh, sorry this is odd number right if n mod 2 not equal to 0 if it's an odd number you print minus 1 if it's an even number you simply put uh, 1 and what will be the value of y it will be n by 2 so that's the solution and uh, you can just check this solution number so if it's an odd number that is i use the bitwise operator i check whether the last digit uh, last bitwise is just one or not if it's one it's an odd number so minus one else i uh, divide the n value by half and print n here and one here those are the two numbers so that's it guys uh, see you in the next video please uh, comment if you have any doubts